U.S. is finished with Ukraine's Volodymyr Zelensky, this lie of his concerning the missiles in Poland could have killed millions of Americans. Who is a favorite to, su to succeed him? Violent attack against Zelensky, a fierce attack against the president of Ukraine, Volodymyr Zelensky, is launched by American media using heavy expressions, a sign that the climate has started to reverse concerning him. Fox News' Carlson Tucker publicly blasted the Ukrainian president, accusing him of lying to get millions of Americans killed for him. Zelensky continued to lie on TV, so when you run a country where free press is banned, like in Ukraine, you may not realize that the rest of the world is not forced to believe you. You can't put them all in jail. That's why he kept saying what he knew was not true. It's a lie that could kill millions of Americans, so you have to ask yourself, is it time to stop supporting this guy? Could the risk be that high? He lies on purpose to get people into war, and especially the U.S. into war. Yesterday, the dance of attacks was opened by the stronghold of the Democrats in the United States, the New York Times. New York Times said the gruesome videos of the brutal execution of Russian prisoners are authentic. Footage reportedly showed that uh, Russian prisoners of war by Ukrainian captors has been verified by New York Times. In fact, the American media refers to Dr. Rohini Haar, who in turn stated that the act constitutes a violation of international laws. The authenticity of videos have been verified, verified by New York Times, and they showed the terrifying moment in the conflict. New York Times editors conducted consistent analysis of the video, concluded that the Russian fighters were captured, and uh, it appears that most of them uh, where it was a human rights violation. Uh, Dr. Har notes that when the Russian soldiers suggested they were lying without weapons. Now, the newspaper even quotes the related video. The end of Zelensky is coming. Valery Zaluzny is the favored uh, to, to replace him, the favorite for the position of Volodymyr Zelensky, Valery Zaluzny has been set by the Ukrainian Agetha Valery Zaluzny with, uh, with the Western and American media constantly de deifying him. Financial Times reports, for several months since late summer, Ukrainian forces have been meticulously attempting to retake the city of Kherson from Russia occupation troops. Under the command of General Valery Zaluzny, Ukrainian troops would attempt using Western weapon systems given to them as assistance to cut off Russian supplies lines on the Dnieper River, and with surgical precision strike, they targeted Western weapon depots, command posts, two bridges connecting to Crimea, which Russia annexed in 2014, and their goal to gradually isolate more than 20,000 Russian soldiers stationed in the Kherson region. This strategy eventually, after months, paid off, leading to the fight of the Russian forces, the flight of the Russian forces and the recovery of the city by the Ukrainians. Behind the Ukrainian successes on the battlefield is 49-year-old Valery Zaluzny, a military man whom Ukrainians now choose to call their Iron General. Zaluzny's ability to adapt to a rapidly changing battlefield had been shown before Kherson at Kharkov, and there Ukrainian forces counterattacked slowly, gradually, as in Kherson, but on the contrary with speed. So according to Andrei Zagorodnyuk, former Ukrainian defense minister and current government security advisor, General Zaluzny is successful for a number of reasons, because he knows how to listen to Ukrainian officers who are on the front lines of every front, to be informed by them in time, and to encourage the taking of initiatives and actions when relevant opportunities present themselves. Zaluzny allows his subordinates to use their own abilities and practice, while on the contrary, in the Russian army, the leadership makes all the decisions and all the subordinates, everyone is silent. In addition, as a military man, he knows well the field inside Ukraine. He himself fought in Donbass after 2014, but also the enemy, as in case the Russian forces and the ways in which they operate and think. Another characteristic for which he's even famous is his ability to adopt unorthodox initiatives 
that proved to be successful on the ground in practice. Zalu's niece's own ability to demonstrate that he can move with immediacy by responding in time to developments on the ground and seizing any opportunities combined with Western military aid to Ukraine and the determination of Ukrainians themselves have led to a series of successes, although the end of the war still remains a long way off. The Ukrainian general, who rarely speaks in public, had a phone conversation with American General Mark Miley a few days ago. During this phone call, Zaluzny said, and according to Ukrainian side, to have rejected those voices calling for Kiev to capitulate. Our goal is to liberate the entire Ukrainian land from Russian occupation. We will not stop under any circumstances, he said. The only condition for negotiation, Russia must leave all the territories it has occupied, the Ukrainian general is shown to have said, addressing the American side. Now, after nine months of war, General Zaluzny stands out as one of the most trusted leadership figures among Ukrainians within the, Ukrainians, uh, the country's borders. However, his rise in popularity has also fueled rumors that he's at odds with President Zelensky or causing suspicion in Zelensky's entourage, although some say these rumors are the work of Russian propaganda. This is by War News 247. I've translated this from a Greek article. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.